At a time when Utah ranks as one of the top 10 most difficult states for first-time homebuyers, there's relief in sight. There's a new $50 million plan that just got released, and they're now taking applicants for this program where you're going to be able to get a loan at a 0% interest rate uh, to help you with your down payment to get into a home. Now, there are some stipulations you have to know about. I've talked about this here on the channel before, but we're going to cover that here again today and give you some additional information about this awesome program. Now, if you want to take advantage of this program, you're looking at buying or selling or investing in real estate here in Utah. Utah, please reach out to me. My information will be here on the screen. Call, text, or email anytime. I absolutely love hearing from you guys when you reach out. I've had people from all across the world relocate here to the area, as well as tons of people who live here locally. Literally hundreds of people, and I'm grateful for that every single day. So with that being said, let's jump into this article here and take a look at what we've got. So this article says what the legislature's $50 million fund for new homeowners could mean for Utah's climbing rents. Now I've gone through this and highlighted some of the important parts that I want to uh, talk about here, as well as what's, how this is going to affect rents. So so this program is a new program that just got released and it's for those people who have not owned a home in the past three years and have lived in Utah for at least one year prior who can apply for this loan through the Utah Housing Corporation. Applicants must purchase a home up to $450,000 and it must be either newly constructed or never have been lived in. So these are new homes that are being um, sold through this program. The home has to be brand new in order for it to qualify and it can only be up to $450,000. So this doesn't leave a lot of single family homes available for this program. It's going to be mostly condos and townhomes, but honestly, I think that's probably okay. If you were able to exploit this and purchase a home that was $600,000, dollars $800,000, that's probably not the best use of these funds. That's not really the intended purpose purpose of these funds. So if we continue on right here, it says we're trying to encourage builders, developers in cities, municipalities, counties, whoever has the oversight jurisdiction to try and produce a product under that $450,000 range. Now, I think this is actually pretty interesting because they're trying to encourage people to do this. But unfortunately, the developers, the cities, the counties, they're the ones who restrict the building process and make it very difficult for builders to actually produce homes at this price because they're so limiting in the way that they allow people to, um, you know, what they allow people to build. A lot of people say you got to raise up this number, but they're not going to raise it up because they're trying to push prices down and provide an affordable housing inventory uh, for this program. This bill will uh, will help an estimated 2,400 families or about 10,000 people, subsequently taking those individuals out of the Utah rent market and freeing up space for Utah renters. The homeownership program comes at a time when Utah's rent is climbing. In the last three years, Utah's rent spiked by 36.4%, going from 1530 in 2020 to two. $2,087 in 2023. Actually, a pretty substantial increase there over 36%. If we scroll down a little bit further, currently the program will continue until the budget's allocated $50 million runs out. But if the program is extremely successful and productive, we may actually try to find additional funding. The program has a 0% interest rate and will not require monthly payments. After the recipient of the program sells or refinances their home, they're going to refund the loan to the Utah Housing Corporation, which will then allow other applicants to apply for it during this time. So it's actually a really cool program. It's a $20,000 grant or a, rather a loan. It's not necessarily a grant because you do have to pay it back, but it's at 0% interest rate and it does not require monthly payments. So they're basically loaning you this money. You get to hold on to it until you either sell that home in the future or you refinance the home in the future as well. So it gives you a lot of options. This is a great way to really supplement or even provide an entire down payment on a property. If you took the maximum price here of $450,000, at a 5% down payment, that uh, that means that you're only at 22500 for the down payment. So you might only have to bring in uh, either no money at all or a very small amount, somewhere between $2,500 to $5,000 to be able to get into a home. So this is a very good program. I think this is a very uh, good thing. I do ironically think that this is going to actually push prices up, especially in this lower price range, because you're going to get a lot of demand out there in the market. This is going to help, uh, you know, what did it say, roughly 2,400 families. Um, over the next couple of years through this program, which is great. I think this is actually a very good program. I'm in support of it, but ironically, I do think it will push prices up and actually prevent prices from coming down in the near future. However, like they said, I do think this will help with rental prices. When you get people moving out of a rental into a new home, this is going to help rents stabilize, hopefully maybe even come down a little bit to provide some relief there, but we'll have to wait and see. There's still a lot of demand. We're roughly 30,000 housing units short here across the state of Utah. So although we're going to be able to help 
help out 2,400 families. We're still looking at roughly 25, 26, 27,000 uh, households short of the actual demand that we've got here in the state. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to reach out to me. I'd love to help you with this program. We've got all the details on it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and my information is here on the screen. You can call, text, or email anytime. I absolutely love it when you guys uh, reach out and I would love to hear from you soon. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.